What's up? What's good? It's your girl Courtney B here and I am back with yet another hair video. If this is your first time here, hey boo hey, my name is B. Alright you guys, jumping straight into the video. Today we are working with Unique's hair. For today's look, we're going to be finessing this 22 inch honey blonde highlighted wig, alright? In today's video, I'm also going to be showing you guys how I'm going to kind of tint and touch up my roots because I'm a dark root type of girl. I love a good dark root and I'm also going to show you guys how I make my unique it's super duper flat without doing the absolute most to touch up my roots i'm going to be using my dollar tree color easy dark brown box dye and i'm going to mix up my solution off of camera the instructions are very very easy so i didn't want to bore you guys with all of that and you're going to take a spoolie or an old or an old mascara wand and apply it to the front of your wig's roots trying not to get it on the lace i did get some on some of the lace but not you know it wasn't too bad i didn't really care because this dye does come off pretty well when it's on your skin or even on lace so that wasn't an issue and um, one thing i do want to say is that I messed up by not going back farther than just the hairline I really just put it on the hairline and where I would have my part and everything will be showing so make sure you guys actually part the hair back and go a little bit further back because after I ended up plucking my unit um some of that dark root was plucked out so you guys should definitely learn from my mistakes and start from the back to the back two rows into your wig first and then working your way towards the front of your wig's root and then you should be fine The next day after washing, conditioning, and air drying, I did go ahead and straighten my wig off of camera. You guys have seen me straighten my units a thousand times, but I do have a dedicated video specifically for how I straighten my units. So I'll link that link down below. Here you guys see me cleaning off my hairline with some alcohol to kind of get my forehead ready to be tacked down and, you know, adhere better, okay? And then I'm going to use my Got To Be Glued Gel in the yellow bottle and put it just on the areas that you guys be applying it right now. I'm not tacking down my sides only because I kind of cut my wig a little bit wonky into like a 6x6 closure wig. Believe it or not, I still struggle with cutting my lace. So sometimes I have to do this just to clean up a mess. And today I definitely made a mess. Messed up my sides, so we end up tacking it down to the 6x6 today. And boom, don't come for me. No, but seriously, you guys, even besides me messing up like this, this is an easy way to clean up a mistake if you guys are still working on cutting your lace. If you mess up, no worries. Make it to a 6x6 closure wig or a 5x5, 4x4, however bad you done messed up, girl and make it do what it do. As of recently, I've been really loving tying down my frontals with the elastic bands that normally come with your wigs. I would still use do like my regular silk wraps from time to time. I feel like being cute, but when I really want something to be melted, honey, that elastic band will get you right every single time. So I highly recommend you guys use that if you're not using it for actually being in your wig, to use it to actually tack down your wig because I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Now we are jumping into getting this wig flat, honey, okay? This is the basics right here that you're seeing with the hot comb, doing the front, doing the top. But now, as you can see, I am going to start parting in sections of the hair and using my wax stick. Hot comb each part bit by bit. Now this just makes everything super duper flat, even more flat than you would get it with just doing one pass from the top because this flattens out every section so that way you're getting more of a smoother finish. I'm gonna do the same thing just to the top of my head closer by the part you don't really have to go through each track of your wig just closer to your part and you're going to apply the wax stick and then hot comb it down now as you guys saw after i hot comb these sections down i do hold it down with my hand for about three seconds or as long as my hand can stand it because <laughs> as y'all see it is really really hot so don't burn yourself but just kind of pat it hold it so that way the heat will make it stay in place and you have a nice flat install i hope i didn't talk too fast um y'all know i talk fast anyways but i'm a visual learner so i'm gonna let you guys just watch so you guys can see like how i do it but it's really easy but i just get the best results when flattening my wig this way and yeah Thank you. 
All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I'm feeling really Trina Rockstar, City Girls, Lindsay Lohan, you know, stuff like that. Like, I'm just feeling like that girl. The hair I have right now is from Eunice Hair. This is their 22 inch straight honey wig, and this unit is at 150% density, and this is 13 by four. The lace frontal area is 13 by four. This is all the hair pulled to the front. I did go in and touch my roots. So y'all know I love a straight bust down the middle, so that's what we went for today. Since this hair was pre-bleached and pre-dyed, this hair did come kind of dry. And I also bleached my knot, so you know that with your hair being bleached, and also with you bleaching your knot, you are going to get some shedding. As of right now, I'm not getting any shedding. I'm almost certain it's going to start because I did bleach my knots, and the hair is pre-bleached. So the hair has been put through a lot, and it's probably straining. When you run your hands through this hair, you're not getting like that over-processed feel. I did not show you guys me straightening my hair on camera because I do have a dedicated video on that. I'll link that video down below so you guys can check that out in that video i am using a silkening serum with this hair it may have been beneficial because it could add a little bit of moisture but i did not it's on the thicker side of 150 i don't know maybe i'm just not used to thicker 150s but maybe this is what 150 supposed to feel like either way i'm not used to i'm used to like really thin 150s so this is cool this is real cute for her the hair did straighten pretty well i did deep condition my hair that got this hair together it helped a lot with the dryness but you can still tell that the hair is lacking some moisture but after a couple after a few more times of me deep conditioning it, I should be fine. No big deal. And then on top of that, if I use my silkening serum just to give it some moisture, then I'm definitely good. I ain't even gotta do that. This install is super duper flat and I'm not mad at it. Period. Now this frontal did come pre-plugged, but definitely was not pre-plugged enough for me. The hairline was still pretty dense, so I went in and went ham. Normally when you bleach the knots on your wigs, it makes the knots weaker and much easier to pluck. And also when you incorporate bleaching your knots as well as a spray bottle with water spraying your hairline, that also makes the knots easier to pluck out because water makes the base of the hair weak easier to pull out and of course the bleach makes the hair makes the knots weak easier to pull out so that should have made plucking a whole lot easier for me but baby girl plucking was a task okay plucking was a job the knots bleached perfectly fine the knots were just so intact now that's a good thing and that's i'm not saying that as if it's a bad thing the knots are intact i literally had to pluck one line for at least 15 seconds. I appreciated that, but it, it, it put me through it. Put your girl through it. <laughs> One thing I do wish that Eunice Hair did with the wig was apply these streaks all throughout the hair. The streaks are more so towards the front of the unit, but once you get to the back, the chestnut brown. I already know I'm gonna hit up Snapchat and Instagram and my Instagram stories. So y'all make sure you follow me on all of those platforms, okay? Y'all don't wanna miss this play because it's about to go down. And yeah, that's pretty much it. A big thank you does go out to Eunice Hair for sending me this lovely unit. I thank you guys so much for partnering up with me in today's video. And for sending me this lovely wiggy wig, I am in love with it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the Beehive down below. Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive fam, because we are lit and we are never, ever bougie over here. Do you understand me? I know you want to keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend. You're my best friend. We're all best friends. So add your girl on Instagram. Cleavage trying to play with me. Y'all stop. Be still. Trying to look my age. And yeah, as always, I love every single one of you. But until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.